Welcome to the channel. This is Technoscope. Welcome everybody to Technoscope. This is the channel for all things tech and gaming hardware. Today I'm going to do a short tutorial. This is how to cause Discord to auto minimize when you first boot your computer, assuming that you want Discord to start automatically when you boot your computer. And as you can see, it takes up a big chunk of real estate on my screen and my screen is 49 inches in 4K. So if you have a 1080p smaller screen, I'm sure it dominates your screen even more so. Uh, what you're looking at is my very, very pitifully uh, barren uh, Technoscope channel. Uh, but anyway, or server, I guess. Anyway, over here on GBA Temp, uh, I will post a link to this uh, thread in the description below. They have a short tutorial on how to uh, minimize how to open and minimize discord automatically and I want to explain a little bit about what's going on for those of you who are younger uh, don't remember the old Windows days and things I will explain a little bit about what's going on here so the the short short and simple how you do this is you go to this folder right here uh, let me increase increase this so you can see this if you're happen to be on like a cell phone at 1080p or something you go to this url or not url this uh you copy this and paste it into windows explorer it will take you to this folder which is called the startup folder um now if you're older you remember uh i think up to windows 7 even windows 8 might have have even had this uh but bef but back in the day from the first when i first started using computers till recently there used to be a folder in your startup menu called uh, in your start menu called startup and any program that you would put in this um, in this folder would automatically start with the computer and now they have the um, um, I forget what it is the Windows config you can get to it in in uh, task manager now uh, there's actually a tab for startup but they used to but there used to be uh it used to be done through this folder here that used to be in your start menu and you would just copy uh shortcuts to your programs in here and anything that was in here would start automatically when windows booted so that's why we're that's why we're working with this folder so what they're saying and for some reason by the way it doesn't show up it doesn't there's not actually a startup folder in Windows 10 anymore like it's there but it's not there so I'm, I'm not sure but what basically what we're doing is we're creating what's called a batch file and for those of you who don't know a batch file is basically more or less a file that you enter commands in just like you would uh, from the command prompt uh, I know that's not used very much these days for most people uh, but back in the day when you know back in the DOS days, you know You did everything through the command prompt and batch files were very very popular. That's where where batch files come from um, You put all your commands in there and what happens is when the batch file is run you would automatically um, It would automatically run each command from top to bottom um, And here they have echo off which means don't show what commands are being run um, that's all that means but basically uh, it runs this command uh, runs this command runs this command this means wait 10 seconds I guess um, and this task kill right here uh, basically tells Windows to close the discord window this is what what actually does the magic um, if if discord is set up the standard way on your computer when you click the X to close the window it doesn't ac actually close this cord it just minimizes to the tray and that's what this is taking advantage of so when you, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the start menu over here you're going to either right click new and create a text document which is how I did it or you can go to notepad and autumn and um, in notepad you can you know uh, save as 
go to the startup folder and then name your file. But instead of naming it .txt, you want to name it .bat, which is for a batch file. Um, it's it's basically just a plain text file. The the only difference is instead of .txt, it's .bat, which mean which tells Windows run these commands when I uh, open this file. Um, very simple. Copy this text that they have in here. Paste it in here. Save it. Uh, as you can see, I already I've already done that. So I'm going to show you what happens when. Now keep in keep in mind. Remember what I said when Windows boots, it automatically runs anything in a startup folder. So I'm going to run it just like Windows would would run it. And I've already closed this course, so you can actually see this in action. So I'm gonna double click, and this window here pops up. I'm not sure. I guess that will pop up during boot up as well, but it sh it should clear itself. So you see, Discord is running. You can see that Discord is now open, and you can see this box over here is just uh, chilling, and it closes itself, and it closes the Discord window. And if you look down here in my attach tray, you'll notice that Discord is still there. So if you guys have any questions or anything, go ahead and leave those below. Uh, any suggestions for the community, go ahead and leave those below as well. Hit the thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video. My name is Elemento, and this this technoscope. Technoscope is a twisted curve production.